Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Harrison Burton, the driver of the number 21 Ford for Wood Brothers Racing in the NASCAR Cup Series. How's it going there, Harrison? Hey, Casey. It's going good, man. I'm uh, I'm sweaty and tired. I just hit the gym pretty hard and uh, getting on the call with you. So uh, pretty brutal workout today and uh, hopefully it'll pay off, right? Yeah, uh, speaking of the going off that, the uh, the workout crew had a good weekend this week. Uh, um, of course, with you and Todd Gilland, and uh, I believe Stenhouse has, was uh, had a good run as well. So, yeah, um, good weekend for good weekend for all you guys, but uh, especially the with you, Austin and Todd, um, with the rookies finishing all in the top five. How big was that? Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it's always nice to finish up front in the Cup Series. I mean, it's such a hard group of people to race with, and everyone's so good that uh, it's a big struggle. So, uh, you know, getting a good finish there against those guys is is uh, pretty cool and meaningful and uh, shows what our team is capable of if we just kind of put things together. So uh, we're working hard to make it happen more often, that's for sure. Um. So going into this weekend at Michigan, I know you've raced in a truck here. I know you've raced in an Xfinity car here, but now you're racing in a cup car here. Um, um, what is it going to be like to, um, how do you think you like, how do you think you like that place? Yeah, I love Michigan. You know, it's a big, fast racetrack, a lot of uh, high risk, high reward there where, um, you know, you've got to really send the, send the car off in the corner deep and, and drive it really hard and, uh, if you slip, you're going to lose a lot of lap time or, or spin out. So uh, it's a really fun place to drive to go try and attack that place is, is always a challenge. And I think the racing should be pretty good there. We'll be able to kind of move in different lanes and, and get to where we can offset ourselves and get out of the dirty air there and make some some moves. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for this weekend, especially with um, you know, the motorcraft, you know, master workers with 20 years of experience. We've got every wow. single one of their names on, uh, on our race car this weekend. So really cool and, and cool to kind of carry that, that on and, and show those guys the respect they deserve for working so hard to keep our Fords out and running. Yeah. So talking about that, I know that that that's a big deal with the paint scheme this week. How is that? What was that like in being a part of that, doing all together and kind of experiencing this? Cause this is, uh, the first time you've kind of really, you know, changed teams and changed manufacturers. Uh, what, what's it been like working with, um, you know, the Ford guys and, and being actually a part of this paint scheme as well? Yeah, it's really neat. Um, I expected it to be more different than it was really. Uh, when I left, you know, from, from where I was before with Toyota, uh, you know, I felt like I knew everybody that was there. felt like I was, you know, pretty, pretty friendly with everybody, knew all the engineers and everybody. Uh, and it was kind of like going to a new school. Like I didn't have any friends yet. I had to go make friends. And then uh, coming to Ford, it was uh, awesome how everyone kind of welcomed me with open arms. And, and it's been, um, you know, everyone pulling in the same direction. And, and that's trying to go get the 21 car in victory lane. And, um, man, you can't ask for anything more than that. Everyone's been really awesome to get to know and work with and uh, made me feel right at home. So, uh, it's cool to go somewhere that you're wanted like that. People want you around and, and want you to be a part of their team. And, um, you know, as a driver, that's all you really want is, is people that believe in you and uh, think you can go make it happen. And then, you know, put the put the work in with you to, to try and make it happen. Um, you know, when you look at uh, the rest of the season so far, how do you think you're doing in the Cup Series so far in your rookie year? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of missed opportunities this year, for sure. Uh, races that I thought we should have run well and finished well and, and didn't. Um, and, you know, I, hey, at at, uh, at uh, the road course last weekend, I felt like we didn't execute the first part of the race well. We had good speed, uh, but I made mistakes. I spun out trying to pass Cole Custer and all kinds of stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we get a bunch of restarts at the end and I was able to kind of make some moves and get up there. So, uh, starting to kind of do the opposite sometimes is good where instead of running good and then finishing not as well, uh, now we're starting to, to be able to capitalize on things that we can control late in the race and go be aggressive and go get spots and uh, start showing that kind of progression, uh, which is really cool and, and uh, exciting for our group. Yeah, for sure. Um, next few races you got, you got Michigan, Richmond, uh, Watkins Glen, Daytona, pretty good stretch of races for you. What, what most excites you about the next few weeks? Uh, just that they're all different. You know, we've got 
those four races in general are, are all completely different with Michigan this weekend. That's a big, fast track with, with a lot of grip. And then we go to Richmond and, and Watkins Glen that are obviously completely two different racetracks that, uh, <laughs> couldn't be any more different. We've got a short track and a road course. Um, and the short track we go into is no grip really worn out. And the road course is like the super speedway of road courses where it's all gripped up a lot of high speed corners. Um, and then we go to, uh, and then we go to Daytona, which is its own beast in, in general. So, uh, obviously between that stretch of four races, um, you know, there's nothing really similar about them. Um, and that is fun. I think variety is fun as a driver. It makes you pr- think differently and prepare differently for each weekend and, uh, keeps you on your toes. That's for sure. That's for sure. Hey, do you have, okay. So with, uh, with football season, sir, do you have any Panthers predictions? <laughs> I don't know if I should predict anything with the Panthers. I, they're every every year that I think they're going to be really good, they're really bad. And every year that I think they're going to be really bad, they turn out to be good. So uh, I hope that this year I am, I hope that they, they're doing well this year. That's really all I care about is, uh, you know, we have a good season and try and build off of it. It's, it's been, uh, it's been tough to watch the last few years for sure. So yeah. trying to get them going in the right direction. I think with, with the quarterback competitions we got going on, it should be fun. Yeah, it should be it should be interesting that and I know I know Duke's gonna have an interesting year but be interesting to see a Michigan State car out there this weekend so yeah yeah I'm definitely a Duke guy and and they're always good but their first year without K how they do uh with that's gonna be wild so uh gonna be cool to see how how everything changes and and um you know how that legacy is carried on excited and you could possibly meet Tom Izzo this weekend so that'll be uh that'll be because he's one of the co-grand marshals this week yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be. All right. Well, uh, Harrison, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and good luck this weekend at Michigan. Yeah, thanks, Casey. I appreciate it, and uh, hope you have a good one, man.